Hey everyone, it's me again, back with another game-changing Notebook LM video. My mission is simple, to solve your challenges and bring you the most valuable content possible. Are you stuck with just three audio generations per day on Notebook LM's free plan? I'm going to show you how to get 23 generations every single day. Frustrated with Notebook LM's lack of control over podcast duration? We're going to transform that. And those two voices you're limited to? How about accessing six different voices to make your content stand out? But here's the best part. We'll do all of this completely free. Using Google's own tools, no complicated editing, no expensive subscriptions, just pure creative freedom. Let's jump right in. Let's start with Notebook LM. Imagine you're researching the impact of quantum computing on cryptocurrency. You've identified some amazing technical papers from the archive database, found some brilliant blogs, and a YouTube video with almost 225,000 views to base your research on. This is exactly what Notebook LM was made for. I'm creating a new notebook now, adding all the sources I have as website links. Now YouTube doesn't always work perfectly, and yes, the Notebook LM product team is tracking this bug. But no worries, we'll simply get the transcript from the video and upload it as pasted text. After uploading all sources, we'll do a quick review of the summary as our first step. And listen, if you're researching this topic for the first time, the briefing doc and FAQ are your best friends. Start there, then move on to timelines and study guides. Remember, you'll always have full access to the chat experience. Ask clarifying questions, brainstorm ideas, dive deeper into your research. It's all there for you. In this demo, we're focusing on something special. Podcast generation with maximum details from all these sources, especially emphasizing timelines. To do this perfectly, I'm asking Notebook LM to create an outline of a book on quantum computing impact to cryptocurrency, making sure we capture every detail from all sources. Here's a crucial tip for working with any AI tools. Break down your complex problems into multiple steps for better accuracy. So first, I asked for an outline. Then, I asked it to expand all the chapters into a full book, capturing all details while keeping the size under 500,000 characters. And look at this. It wrote about 15,000 characters. Now, you could break this down further by writing one chapter at a time and fine-tuning each one. But for this demo, let's keep moving. I just remembered. We should include that timeline I created back into the book. So, I'm converting that into my sources and asking Notebook LM to write another chapter about it. Once I'm completely happy with the final research output, I save it to a note and convert it to a source called Research Book. Now let's create an audio overview by customizing the prompt. We'll ask Notebook LM to focus specifically on the research book source and keep the duration under five minutes, though we know it might not stick to that instruction. But here's the challenge. If you have minor issues with the podcast, you'll need to regenerate it several times. You'll quickly run out of your quota and you can't control the voices or duration. But wait, this is where it gets interesting. Enter Illuminate. No, I'm not asking you to abandon Notebook LM. Instead, I'm going to show you how to combine both tools into an amazing workflow. You'll get the best research capability from Notebook LM and greater control over your audio generation in Illuminate. Follow along closely. Here's Illuminate. If you're new to this tool, Illuminate is Google's experimental product specifically designed for podcast generation from your content. In the Home tab, you can already see a ton of pre-created podcasts on research papers and books you can listen to for free. Generate tab is where you can generate your own. When you generate your podcasts, they stay in draft mode for 30 days and gets deleted automatically. If you want to preserve them, you must move them to your personal library, and you can also share to others from here directly with a link. Right now, it supports web sources with a maximum of four sources. Want to use papers from Archive? You can search for them directly here. For comparison, I'm feeding in four source links, two blogs and two papers, that's the current maximum. Now let's talk about audio generation. You've got some fantastic options here. You can control three key things. One, target audience. 
2. Duration 3. Tone of the hosts You can go casual or formal with predefined prompts or choose guided to customize your target audience, duration and tone or get complete freedom with free form. I prefer copying the guided prompt and tweaking it in free form to match exactly what I need. Free form is where the magic happens. You get six different voice choices. Illuminate loves using one male and one female voice together. Perfect for host and guest. Can you see how this is already looking better than Notebook LM for audio generation? Of course, nothing beats Notebook LM's research capabilities. It's still the best at that. Let's create some audio and hear how it sounds. Here in drafts, you can see the generated podcast. If you remember our prompt, we asked for a short podcast and it created one with four minutes. Here is Illuminate's guidelines for durations. Specify short for less than five minutes podcasts, medium for five to 10 minute podcasts, and longer for 10 plus minute podcasts. Remember these are approximate, sometimes you get a six minute podcast out of short as an example. I'll be completely honest with you. Despite trying numerous prompts in both guided and free form, it's still unpredictable. The same prompt might give you 12 minutes one time and five minutes another. Seems like this is a challenge Google hasn't cracked yet across both tools. But here's what you can do. First, use short, medium, and long options for rough estimates of two to 10 minutes duration. Second, for longer podcasts, break your content into logical segments and create multiple episodes. Keep in mind, 20 generations per day is what a paid Notebook LM Plus plan gets today. With this approach, you are getting additional 20 podcasts, generations, and additional voices, so I can't complain a lot. But highly recommend submitting your feedback on both tools. If everyone watching this video submits feedback, I'm sure it'll be fixed soon. I have submitted mine, and if I hear enough comments on this issue, I can use them to push them on their Discord channel as well. This conversation is powered by Google Illuminate. Check out illuminate.google.com for more. We're diving into um, the fascinating intersection of Bitcoin and quantum computing. Is the future of Bitcoin at risk? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Quite the potential impact is significant, but um, the timeline is still uncertain. So the threat isn't immediate, but it's looming large. What's the biggest concern? The ability of quantum computers to break the cryptographic algorithms securing Bitcoin. Wow. Could quantum computers potentially steal Bitcoins? Theoretically, yes. But the practical challenges are immense for now. Let's talk mining. Could quantum computers... While it might not be quite as conversational as Notebook LM's native podcast, it sounds significantly better than 11 Labs Gen FM. Curious about that comparison? Check out the video link above. But wait, it gets even better. Want to see something really cool? I tested the limits of customization using one of my prompts from my other video, where I showed 10 powerful ways to hack podcast prompts. I created this amazing fact or fiction game between the host and guest. You've got to hear this. This conversation is powered by Google Illuminate. Check out illuminate.google.com for more. Welcome to Fact or Fiction, the game show where we um, separate scientific truth from utter nonsense. Today's topic, thermodynamics. Ready to test your knowledge? Let's do this. Bring on the heat. Statement one, the second law of thermodynamics states that entropy always increases in an isolated system. Fact or fiction? Fact. Entropy's a one-way street, baby. Correct. Next, a perpetual motion machine is theoretically possible. Fact or fiction? Fiction. The laws of thermodynamics would like a word. Absolutely right. You're on a roll. Well, let's see if this one trips you up. Hit me with your best shot. Statement three. The first law of thermodynamics is essentially a statement of the conservation of energy. Fact or fiction? Fact. Energy can neither be created nor... Want more crazy possibilities like this? The video link is right above. Here's another feature in Illuminate. You can ask questions to your document by raising your hand. Now, this isn't the same as Notebook LM's interactive audio. Instead, it's a chat experience where you can dig deeper into your source content and get instant answers. Think of it as part research, part conversation with your sources. A soft fork is a change to the blockchain that is backward compatible. This means that nodes running the old software can still... Thanks for the question. I can only answer questions directly related to the quantum key distribution, or QKD. And there's more. Something I really liked about Illuminate's audio, you can always go back and review the exact prompt used to generate your audio. Sadly, you can't do this in Notebook LM, which can be quite frustrating. Now that you understand both tools and their unique strengths and limitations, let's combine the best of both worlds. 
Notebook LM's incredible research capabilities with Illuminate's powerful audio generation. Remember our deep dive into quantum computing's impact on cryptocurrencies? How we use Notebook LM to create that comprehensive mini-book with all the details from our sources? We used everything, the chat experience, study guide, timeline, to do thorough research. But wouldn't it be incredible if we could feed all this research into Illuminate and create a podcast? But wait, you're thinking. Illuminate only takes web sources, right? Well, I've got two brilliant solutions for you. First up, Pastebin. This fantastic online text sharing tool is used by millions to share notes, code snippets, and information through web endpoints. It's super simple. We are going to copy our final book summary from Notebook LM with all the details across all your sources, paste it into Pastebin, create a paste, and boom, you get a URL. The free version is perfect for us. You can even make it expire right after Illuminate reads it or after a specific time. Plus, mark it as unlisted so it stays private. Got your URL? Perfect. Just feed that into Illuminate and you've got access to all its amazing customization options. Let's listen to what it created. This conversation is powered by Google Illuminate. Check out Illuminate. Potentially um, break the encryption that secures cryptocurrencies. Whoa. So like goodbye Bitcoin? Not necessarily goodbye, but definitely a need for a serious upgrade. Think of it as a software update, but on a global scale. A global software update for all the money in the world? Okay. I'm intrigued. Let's get into it. So first things first, what exactly is a quantum computer? But that's not all. Here's your second option. GitHub Gist. Yes, you'll need a GitHub account to log in, but once you're there, you can create a private Gist, use that URL with Illuminate, and it works just as brilliantly. There you have it, folks. 